Hi, my name is Dave. Today I'm going to show you how to convert this mount to this mount. This is an old style Takahashi TS P type mount um, with a non interchangeable clamshell. This is a modernized, systematized, that's what Takahashi calls it, systematized mount where you can, you have the two. Uh, M8 bolts here and you can attach almost any Takahashi accessory to this mount. In 1977 Takahashi systematized their mounts. Let me explain to you what that means. These are both TS65Ps. This is the newer one over here. This is the older one. If I open up the older one I'll find in here um, some felt. Now, I've already done this. This was one solid piece but I just cut it out with an exacto knife like that. Not really doing any harm because as you can see there's nothing bearing on that and underneath I find uh, a nut attached to a bolt inside there on this one the newer one I find instead two M8 standard M8 metric bolts separated by 35 millimeters this is the standard configuration as you would see at least on a small Takahashi today uh, it's, they standardized this in 1977, I think it was. But this one is pre-1977. Now, what do you do with this? If this, if you want to take the take this clamshell off and put anything else on it, you can easily do that. It just it slaps right on there. This one is a bit trickier. You have to have um, a good socket wrench. This one is, I believe this is a 19 millimeter nut, but I used a three quarter inch socket. I don't have a 19 millimeter socket, so I used a three quarter and I was able to apply. <laughs> when I took this off, I really had to apply some torque. It was on there really good. So it's all loosened up now, but I used that and I removed it. You can take this off. And then you will find underneath here a big heavy washer. I want you to notice how bent that washer is. That thing is, it was really, there was some serious torque applied to that. Now inside here you will find um, that's not enough to remove this, not quite yet. There's a little socket screw here. Let me show you a magnified view of that. So this little set screw here, you have to uh, have the right size screwdriver. Take this little set screw out. The purpose for this set screw is simply to keep this whole thing from rotating. And you can see there's a hole there. As a matter of fact, you can still see the the chips from where it was drilled. This was never removed before this occasion. And this thing, when it's tightened down in there, keeps that from rotating. See, with the nut holding it on there. Anyway, you remove that. And now you've got the clamshell off. Now that you have the clamshell off this, you can take a piece of this is just a quarter inch plate, maybe eight inches by a couple of inches wide. It's going to be just whatever you happen to have um, that will fit on there. It has to be, you have to drill this hole to the right size for that. It doesn't have to be ultra precise, but it needs to be approximately the right size for that thing. And then you can put this on here. And now you've got this converted over some torque there, tighten it down, and now you've got um, a mount that you can use different telescopes. You can use, uh, put whatever rings on there you want, and so forth. So that's one simple thing you can do. Just make yourself a plate like so. This won't worth work with the Vixen plate because Vixen plate is too thick here. You need something that's a little bit thinner. If you're at all handy, you can make one of those. You're going to want to cinch this down really good and tight. Um, should it loosen up on you, uh, you know, you're going to have to carry your three-quarter inch wrench with you just at all times. 
but if you need to you can tighten it down um, it's a really it's a very minor problem it's not likely to fall off there so if it does loosen up on you you can just tighten it up if you feel it's really necessary you can do this drill and tap for a set screw of some sort I first made this and I thought this was going to be necessary to have this it turns out that friction is usually enough but if you need to you can do this something like that put a set screw in there and that'll help to um, really keep it nice and tight you won't have any problems at all what about if you would like to maybe eh, put another uh, put another Takahashi type clamshell on there wouldn't that be nice Let's see if we can work that out. Let's suppose you would like to put a um, something like that. Standard, like this is an 80 millimeter. Suppose you like to, well, you're not going to do it. Just, that's not going to work. It will go on over on the other one. Won't work on this. When I bought this TS80 mount from Japan, I discovered that it had something interesting here on the top. Instead of a clamshell, it had this adapter. Actually, it had a clamshell for a different size scope. What's this adapter all about? I'll take it off there and show it to you. Here's what this thing looks like up close. This is a commercial product. This, um, I'm not sure who makes these, but this one just is a little too big. It runs into these bolts over here. But this one I made will work on this mount. This one will slip on there just barely, just barely. And now, put this on. Now here's where it's important to have the right size you gotta, you gotta have the right size hole here. That has to be just right. Now you're gonna wanna line those holes up like so, approximately. Tighten that down really good. Now you've got a place to put, these are 35 millimeter spaced, 8 millimeter uh, bolts. So you can put this on, like so, goes right on, as you can see. Standard, it becomes a standard Takahashi. The only thing is it just stands up a little bit taller. This is just a little bit, that adds maybe three quarters of an inch or an inch. Not a serious amount. The nice thing about this is that once you put that on, you can get one of these. Ah, ah now you're talking. Now you can put a, anything with a Vixen dovetail. You can put on this quickly and easily. So you've converted this from a Takahashi to a systemized, systematized Takahashi, <laughs> and then to a Vixen. <laughs> so you've uh, you've really morphed this mount by quite a bit. Now you have an extremely useful little mount with a Vixen dovetail. You can put a lot of stuff on there. Anything that's anything that's within the right uh, weight capacity for this mount. A snap to put on there. Take a look at this TS80 mount. It's been systematized. It has a Vixen dovetail holder on the top. 
Once you fit it with an adapter like this, a TS-80 mount is a very sturdy mount. It can be used to support a lot of different kinds of telescope. Now, the problem is, where do you get one of those? Well, this is a commercial product, came from Japan on another scope that I uh, bought. This one here, this machine one. I made that. Not terribly complicated. There are some critical dimensions that you have to be careful of. One of them is the diameter of that hole. The spacing of these two holes has to be just right. The diameter of that hole has to be just a little over one inch to allow for that socket. Let's suppose you'd like to make one of these things. First of all, the dimensions here are about that of a hockey puck, I believe. Anywhere from three quarters to an inch thick will be fine. This one is uh, about nine tenths of an inch. So anywhere, anything like that, an inch would probably be too thick. Three quarters is more than adequate. This thing here is uh, mine is too thick. This is uh, that's almost three quarters. So that's that's fine. Three quarters of an inch will be fine. Uh, the crucial dimensions is, with regard to, you know, the, the hole spacing here has to be 35 millimeters. This from here to here, that has to be 35 millimeters pretty precisely so that it will work with your mounts and so forth. These, of course, need to be, uh, these bolts need to be the right length so that they won't protrude. You don't want to push them have those be pushing through and they won't be if you're going to put something else on here you won't have any problems with that the depth of this hole here is um, it's important that it be deep enough so that you can you slide this on that you can get this nut on there and not have anything sticking up this needs to be nice and flat flush here that's really all that's important. You have to have enough uh, material down there. Not too much, but you have to have enough material down there so that you can push down without breaking it or anything. So a uh, thickness of a good washer down there in terms of uh, bore it to that depth. That pretty much should do it. I highly recommend that you have your mount sitting beside your lathe so you can take your part off, check it, make sure everything fits right. Um, if you want to put this ring on there, that's a nice thing, but it's not absolutely necessary. Uh, if you want to put that on there, that makes it nice so that it's nicely centered. It's a nice, clean job, but it's not crucially important. Friction will be enough to hold that in place as long as you tighten it down, cinch it down real good. With that, you should be able to make one of these uh, pretty easily. It's not that hard for somebody with a lathe. This is the TS-65 mount, the original TS-65 first version of the mount. This one uses a smaller nut in here. And uh, this is, instead of being a 19, this is a 17 millimeter it's a 17 millimeter nut there. So all the stuff that I've told you about using the three quarter inch socket won't work. Instead, I was able to work it with an 11 16 socket. Works, goes on there. So the 11 16 socket will work on that as least as far as mine was concerned. Um, just to be careful with which sizes you have and what you're doing. Here's the commercial product and then here's my imitation. And you'll notice that I had to make a change here. Um, I think the object lesson is important. This thing was, it was just a little bit too wide. So I had to, uh, I had to take it down just a bit. But the lesson here is important. Do you really need to have your mount at hand so that you can fit everything. Uh, the drawing that I gave you, take that just as a rough starting place. 
make your measurements and do your job carefully. I hope this video has been useful to you in converting the old style TS mount to the systematized TS mount that will accept virtually any Takahashi accessory. Thank you very much for watching.